every avenue that is happening on the P1 platform are all avenues to help people make that happen, including your commissions, including the land and the houses that are available for sale. The vision is clear. I'll take questions. Now, I said I talked about team building. I talked about um, subscriptions, right? I talked about sales. I talked about purchase as the four key ways to um, achieving your home ownership dream through point values. Now, on home ownership subscriptions, came up with something like this. Okay, we have subscriptions of 15,000, which is about um, $27. The from creating rates of dollar these days, so I, I should just say about, because it changes anyhow. I think it's about seven, 570 now, right? Or has it changed again? Because uh, America is currently going through inflation. Another category is 150K, that's about $360. Another category is 250k, that's about $435. I'm intentional about putting the dollar value because it's not only those in Nigeria that need this thing. It's not only those in Nigeria that need what I'm talking about. Alright? So these are categories for home ownership subscription. I'm going to show you the breakdown as well. Okay? I, I told you earlier on that we have categories of um, housing um, options that you can be working towards. The list is 15 million, followed by 30 million, followed by 60 million, and followed by 120 million. Okay? Now, this is the breakdown for home ownership subscription. For someone who does um, about $27 every month, that's uh, 15,000 naira. At the end of 60 months, the person must have um, accumulated 907,200. That's with the point values on it. Okay? Anybody who does this, what we are going to give the person is a plot of land worth 1.5 million. Anyone who does this, what we will give that person is a plot of land worth 1.5 million. Now, if you did um, 150,000 every month, at the end of 60 months, we have 9,072,000. I would say that you can make up to a minimum of 15 million with other point value generating activities. Okay? So, for anybody who is doing 150 every month, we need to do more point value generating activities to be able to meet up. Okay? Now, if you are doing um, about $435, that's 250000 naira. at the end of 60 months, you would have done exactly 15 million. 15 million, 120000 So, you are already qualified for the first level. So some might say, ah, I just want to be doing monthly subscriptions. Get the person to sign up. Get the person to sign up. And he does this. You've solved problem for somebody, right? Isn't it? You have. Now I mentioned four things, right? Team building. Home ownership subscription, sales, purchase of land, right? Yes. These are various avenues. You can choose to be doing one. But it's wise to mix it up. You get it's wise to mix it up. Have target value targets for yourself. Mix it up. You know, mix it up with team building, don't do with team building. Mix it up with team building. Do you know that you can achieve this home ownership um, dream without even doing a single subscription in any month? Yes. Right? You understand what I explained, right? Yes. You can achieve it without even doing any subscription if you just focus on team 
building. But if you are hungry for accumulating point values, you can be checking how many point values you have um, accumulated. Okay, so okay, let me do subscription for this, 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 this one, so that I'll take it up a little bit. Or which estate will I sell so that I'll earn some more point values? Do you understand? You'll be intentional about trying to get your point values to rise. You can mix it up. Team building, subscription, sale of land, purchase of land. Right? Why, why I break this down is that you might find people who just want to do only subscription. Sign them up as PBOs and show them how they can achieve it. If you are going to do only subscription, you can't be doing anything less than 250k a month. If you want to reach 15 million. That's about $435 right now. If you want to do 150 every month, you must also be ready to engage in other point value generating activities. Buying lands that will give you point value or selling lands that will give you point value or team building. Mix it up to make up. Or you can just as a pro I, in fact, I expect everybody in this class, because you have this exposure, you should be able to mix it all up. Now, this is interesting. This is what interesting. I talked about um, making your, your point values for home ownership through purchase and sales, right? So this particular slide is going to cover for both purchase and sales because it's the figure that matters. Whether you are buying or you are selling, as long as you are a PBO, these point values will, will be accrued to you. Okay? So I said, this year, change your game, right? Move from surviving to what? Soaring. Assuming you have this team now, and then you tell your team this year the target this year is for everyone to sell nothing less than 15 million and that's a very cheap goal target that in the whole year you sell 15 million is it a high target eh? it's not a high target it's not a high target so if you say, hey team, our goal this period, this year, is that nobody must do less than 15 million. Either you are buying or you are selling on lands that give point value, right? This should be which will end. And of course, of course, if everybody is doing the same thing down the line, they will also end like this. This is one is your own earnings. Now, let me quickly explain this to you before you get confused. On recruitment, that's on team building, you earn point values up to nine levels. That's starting from you, right? You earn nine levels upwards, okay? On recruitment, the PVs get to you nine levels upwards. But on sales, it's just five levels. Okay? That's why I stopped here. On sales is what? Five levels. So, team 15 million this year. Let's go. The point value on 15 million is 10,000 point value. Do your maths. Divide 15 million by 1,500. You're going to get 10,000. So, the point value you earn on 15 million sale is what? 10,000. So when you do yours, whether it took you one month, two months, three months, six months, or the whole year, what you earn is worth 10,000 point values, which is equal to 120,000 naira. On the second level, your first five does exactly the same thing. That's now 10,000 point values multiplied by five, which is 50,000 point value equal to 600,000 naira. On the third level of 25 people, 
10,000 point value multiplied by 25 is 250,000 point values. Naira value is 3 million. By the fifth level, you are accumulated 75 million or, uh, Naira from this activity, two point values. This does not capture the direct and indirect sales commissions on the sales going on here. This is just point values. And that's not the total. The total earnings when you are done with this project is 93,720,000. Yes, if you add all this together. That's by the team. By the, no, this is the team's effort that you end. This is your earning from your team's effort. This is your earning from your team's effort. When I say um, PV is, is paid on nine levels, it means that what, this, what the person that did this thing earned as PV the same thing, the, the same real as you see it, I know what I'm talking about. I decided that I won't go back to Lagos until I share this thing, and I know why. I know why. Alright? So, this activity, whether it's a sales or purchase activity, as long as there are PBOs on your team, this is what you earn. On point values. Alright? So I also did an income estimate for 1.5 million. As you can see, you know, the same process. Right? So all you need to do is to what? Become a PDO. Become a P1 business owner. A P1 business owner is a member of the P1 group who has subscribed to the P1 home ownership scheme. And that is where your journey starts. So, if you are not yet a PBO, the best time to become a PBO is right now. If you are a PBO and you are not yet on the level that gives you access to the home ownership scheme, best time to upgrade is what? Right now. Start running. Start running as you hear this, start what? So this is the procedure for registering. Uh, make your registration and payments and also your initial deposit to the company's account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the procedure. Okay. Then, what happens next? You take the account details. Uh, do, do I have anybody here who is here for the first time and you have not registered at all? You are not yet a PBO. Raise your hand if you are not yet a PBO. Okay, okay. Do we have forms? We have forms. Let's have forms for them, please. Uh, let's have forms for them. Okay? We are going to hand you forms. It doesn't matter. As long as you understand this system, you can move from any level. Don't even wait. If you say you don't have to 2,000 please start with 1,000 As long as you know the destination, nobody needs to tell you that you need to upgrade. So, from the next commission, from your next sale, or even before then, you move up. You move up. Okay? So this is a strategic plan to help as many as possible escape the scourge of what? Tenancy. Okay? This is one... Yeah, please raise your hands again so forms can go around to you. Please raise your hands again. So this is one way to beat tenancy blue black. <laughs> okay. Now this is the system that we are running. This is the the cross of the PBO program, and that's why I said I have to do this, you know, before I return to to Lagos. So for those who have done that. When you do your registrations online, this is the procedure to follow. Okay, but first of all, you can fill the form, and I think um, those who invited you can take it up from there. 
All right. So, congratulations. We are now in the room. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay.